Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War unification casts this side of East Yorkshire. And today we've got a 1 versus 1 on Moon base. Little left side as the Vestorian Firstborn, we have got Chaplain Franz Vertras. On the right side as the Night Lords, we have got me. I will be opening up with a couple of Raptor Scout Squads, a Storm Barracks and a Plasma Generator. Whereas Franz is going to go for a couple of Vestorian Hunters, a Tech Priest Engine Seer, a Vestorian Barracks and a Tesla Reactor. So boys and girls, very exciting stuff. This is the first ever uh, Unification 7.0 cast on the channel. So yeah, we'll, we'll just go Death see what these guys way. do against each other. Also, Keep on the back foot of that, um, the cheers for 10,000 uh, subscribers. So we'll do some sort of, uh, how would one say, a celebratory video. I'll do a special Enjoyed. kind Move of on. game or type of video in the future. I don't know what I'm going to do for the... 10k subscriber special video, but we'll we'll figure something. So we've got the Vistoyans. They're basically a, a hybrid combination of Imperial Guard and Admech, as well as all sorts of Eastern European um, influences. We've got Lord Reach coming out, who is the hero. So that's quite a beastly Secured. lad himself. And we've got the Night Lords, which are just basically, they run around, they, they can hide in, in cover uh, through uh, infiltration. They've got lots of jump pack stuff. And they've also got lots of mechanics around yeah, morale. So we'll see if I'm able to scare the Vizoyas, uh, the, the, what are they called? Vestoyans. To so scare their socks off and make them go back know. home from whence they came. We do have the Vestoyan Hunters out, which are kind of like a, I don't know, like a capping unit for them. They do some, they're, they're not too bad in the range department. We do have access to a gla Galvantic, Galvanic Rifle, however one pronounce that. That does stuff. Raptors there. Got the Raptor Scouts, which are a little bit weirdly and not too amazing close combat, but the Raptor Scouts, the they're our primary bread and butter for tier one. I want to do some harassments. There we go. Innocent citizens. We take it down. Just little hunters coming out, trying to hunt down some moon bears. But no, the Raptors are going to come and cut them down. Lord Regent joining a firstborn squad to go about the business. Now, the Vestorians, unlike other Imperial Guard factions, their units don't have that much flexibility when it comes to their um, weapons that they can upgrade with. You're going to get an arc rifle, and that will be in tier 3 when they get relic weapon research and the radar tower. So in the first parts of the game, they are quite... Pissed that they're not really ideal for stuff. And the Vestorians also have an ability where if they've got more vehicles than they do infantry on the field, then they're able to get certain upgrades and researches for vehicles. Because they're Mechanicus people, kind of, technically, whatever. Yeah, one, rap one Raptor. The thing about going in and, and do some nonsense, managed to delay the strategic point, having a listening post on it. For now, Raptors seeing if they can slice people up as some Raptor squads, or Raptor scout squads, sorry, come in. You can tell the difference because they've got bigger, chunkier jetpacks, as opposed to the sleek design of the regular Raptor squads. Cutting people down with their chain swords. I was kicking them as well. One guy just to... Ah, please, leave me alone. Don't touch me. I don't consent. But we don't care. We're going to go in and see what we can do to them. But actually, when they... Yeah, they extended combat is probably not the ideal situation for the Night Lords. They jump in. I mean, Raptor squads generally are quite low health anyway. So, extended combat. No, they go in, kill some stuff, jump back out. Maybe get some decaps along the way. And we've got the people coming around the centre. So, moving around the critical location. Uh, on a map like this, it's, it's kind of essentially, you've got one direct line to the opponent's base, as well as this little S formation, where you've got one additional strategic point, one as well we as a relic. Name. Are there any oh, uh, critical locations? Uh, is there a relic on this map? I don't think there is. Unless I'm blind. No, I don't think there is a relic, so we'll be seeing any of the big bad units. But that's okay. Got plenty of new ones to look at. But actually, while things are relatively quiet, let's have a cheeky look at the LTA units. So, these guys have got their cigar hats on, the little cheeky faces, and their little mouth-breathing tubes. So, they're cool. And then, how do the raptors look for the Night Lords? They've got their horns. They've got these mighty, devious-looking fox grills. They're looking to come in and do some badness. But the Firstborns are going to meet them in ranged combat, and they're thinking, no, that's too many. Oh, uh, we don't want... Essentially, we don't want an even fight. We want to take as many fights as possible um, that are massively in our favour. You know, like taking candy for a baby, that's what we want to do. Sadly, the Vestorians are lacking in children, soldiers for us to uh, basically beat up. That's not good for us. 
Uh, one up squad has been wiped out there. Going to pop down a sentry gun over on this side. And uh, bearing in mind as well that we're still learning the game, so we don't quite know what the meta is. Or exactly. How, I mean, I'm not very good at the game myself. I do believe that Franz is quite an accomplished player. But yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just floundering here. I'm trying to figure out what we're going to do. We get a terror squad with a grenades of terror upgrade on the way, as well as a captain. This dude, quite a lethal beast in close combat. Can also get an upgrade in tier 2 where he just basically shouts at an opponent and it breaks the morale and I think it also slows them down quite a lot. Slowing a down opponents is quite useful for the Raptors considering that they don't want people to run away from them and they get their uh, close combat damage. And here comes the Terror Squad. They've got a... Uh, well, now that they've got their grenades upgrade, they have an ability where they can throw up a Terror Grenade and then that effectively breaks, well, does it? A fair bit of morale damage as well as uh, blinding them. Hallucinations and stuff. They're going to have a lovely little concave over here. And start firing down on listening posts. Terror squad watching from a distance. There's too many of them. We've also got a spy plane going in, so they know that we're over here. So the element of surprise is not within our favour at the moment. So we are going to move back just a smidgen. Build up our troops. And then see what we could do. The Lord Regent charging on forward as the terror squad... Comes in, throws a grenade in the centre. These guys can't see nothing. Got the captain and the Raptor Scout squad. Going to separate their uh, movements so that these guys are being tied up. Oh, well, he's trying to tie up as many individual squads as humanly possible. Just so these guys can then focus on the squad over on this side. Lord Regent being left to his own devices as the Scout squad has been killed. And uh, now it's just the captain left on his own. But his commander armour helping him resist the incoming Lasgun fire. Terra squad low on numbers now. Not the tankies to be. He's got a second Terra squad on the way there. So fresh grenades for them to use. As the captain is being chased away by these lads. He's also going to have a bit of difficulty with his sentry gun. Which is just two blooming Gatling guns. Firing at him. Having the best times. And he will punch that dude in the face. While slicing down on more lads. And he's just having a grand old time, but Will decides to jump over here in support of these two terror squads. But, no, not going to push in when there is a sentry gun there. Good economies at 86 and 25 compared to 86 and 30. So very even. Economy's got tier 2 on the way for me. And we have got... I assume your tier 2 done? Yeah, your, your tier 2 has already been done, as you can tell. Because we've got a little onion on top of the destroying citadel. And now it's the weighing game. The Vestoyans, they're quite happy sat where they are. They've got the critical location. They have got their listing post, which has been upgraded with a LAS gun, which is just redonkously strong uh, for a turret upgrade for the listing posts. They're going to go vehicles. And we've just got a couple of lads chilling out. How, how, how do the terror squads look while we're... There's going to be a lot of looking at models in the next few unification casts. And if you're a fan of the other casts, like the Soulstorm and the Ultimate Apocalypse, just bear in mind that, that the next maybe uh, three or four videos on the channel will be unification, just because there's a million new factions that I want to showcase on the channel, because uh, it's, you know, good for views and stuff. And I like money, so leave me alone. But, yep, yeah, we're going to start moving around over on this side, and maybe see if we can push down in the centre. We do have a sorcerer who will be turning up. He has a smite ability that does a fair amount of damage against lowly armoured infantry, and also has the ability to get Chains of Torment, as well as teleporting when he's on his loan, so but he will join a squad of terror dudes, just so they can, you know, come out and uh, basically be a meat shield for him. That's what they want, that's what they need. So moving forward, sentry gun will be opening fire. There are also plenty of flamers on these lads as well. One smite, look at that, just those guys. Instantly being wiped out. Almost a full squad, I do believe. We've got one guy who's narrowly avoiding the squad wipe by standing on the edges there. Got a terror grenade on these lads. Although still able to fire, for whatever reason. That's not how your terror's supposed to work. But oh, well, never mind. Uh, we see that sentry gun, or that listening post with the plasma cannon on there. So we think, no, that is going to rip us apart. Like we say, we don't want... To attack them where they're strongest. We want to attack them where they're absolute weakest. We're going to focus on the critical location down here so they lack the ability to see what we're up to. And these guys are going to run back home like the cowards they are. Like the cowards they are, gosh darn it. We've got a... Oh, 
Good lord, these. Uh, uh, a fenner. I'm gonna. I'm gonna assume it's a silent S. A fenner, and that is. I mean, it's just. It's just an artillery gun that fires twice, which is quite useful. I imagine it's not the most accurate of beasts. Right, yeah. Oh, all oh, right. You're attacking the ground over there. That's why you're. You must have been accurate. Also got in fairness. The captain going to come over and see if he can crack down on that fenner. We've got some havocs as well. Now uh, being armed with missile launchers. Make a quick work on the Infernus. But in all fairness, if you pardon that rhyming pun there, they're able to grant the morale on both these terror squads. Got grenades going over and it uh, looks like a smite as well. Kill some stuff. The captain has gone down sadly, but the Fenner will be put in the bin, so to speak. Although fire over here. You can avoid that with the Havocs if you possibly can. And we're trying our best to cut through, but some gas being brought in, I assume, some sort of ability of the... Oh, what, what, whatever, you, whatever your name is. The Lord Regent throwing down radiation or gas. You know, because you've got the Admech Ad Ad Mechanicum thing going on. I'm sure that they don't mind gas too much. Going to get a Cilia. As well. I mean, the radio tower, I assume that you are the research building for these guys. Sector secure. And they're moving forward. I'm going to sit back in the middle of the map. So we, we might just push it back just a little bit. But there were too many of them. It's not what we wanted. So we're going to get a replacement for the captain. I do quite like as well that when you're researching stuff, like a little man is like put in the air. In fact, we'll see if we can see him come out again. But we do have I mean, Mr. Sh Shahal, the talent master. He's coming out. He's got big hands and a dark countenance about his features. He's got an ability where he's able to just basically put down some floor lasagna, which, or should I say some spooky lasagna? Because it just basically anyone anyone near them uh, shits themselves essentially in in, t in in fear. Oh, you're a little tank, little tank. I love little tanks in this game. He's just going to be here, and I assume not doing that much damage. But it's got a heavy flamer, multi laser, and an auto cannon. So yeah, providing supporting fire. Here comes the Talon Master, and he's looking to high five people in the face. There we go. There's the. Uh, Terror lasagna is put on the, fit on the floor at the moment. Also got a regular captain here now. Best friends working together. Cilio has gone down. Fairness brought forward. And yeah, morale been broken by nearly everyone. So they're not enjoying this. Finite Lords is a terrifying prospect. Smite killing a fair few lads. And the captain and the talent master are just running riot over the lightly armored infantry of the Vestorian Firstborn. Will now jump over here and start making quick work of the listing post. Got some Vestorian Hunters who are... Have you got... Oh, you just like a couple of snipers as a given. Yes. Or should I say a long las, really? That's that's technically what you are, I think. Got some Raptors, because these guys can actually join Raptor squads and jump around together, which is very nice. Havoc throwing a grenade over on those Firstborn for bravely running away. The Hunter standing no chance. Cut to absolute ribbons. Does seem that they've... Oh dear, the Vestorians have... I think they've accidentally gassed themselves here. Oh, it does do damage to themselves. Never mind me. That's alright then. Well... Oh, does that... I, I assume that maybe it's a ability from the radar tower. Well, we're all learning here. So we're going to capture the critical location in the centre. Current economies 8, 4, 8, 5 and 43. Compared to 112 and 30. So I've got a lot of money. I have no idea what to spend it on. So we're going to get some chains of torment research to prevent these guys from running away. Main problem that we have at the moment is when our raptors try and kill stuff, they run away from us. If we pin them down on the floor with some dirty chains, that should do us some good. So we can stab them more. Probably run away. But then, yeah, it looks like the Vestorians are just quite happy sitting in the ridge here. And they're going to play the long game. We've got the map dominance now. And if we get some decaps, get some of the listening posts on the go as well for more economy. The uh, sorcerer voice makes me feel weird on the inside. That's okay. Raptors now going to be equipping themselves with a power sword, or power weapon, is what it's called here. Captain doesn't look like he's too keen on getting involved in that. But yeah, we don't like this neither. That's too much on the go for us. Second squad of Raptors coming out. And the captain will join that dude over there. 
The sleep post has been finished, but looks like it won't be living for much longer as the Lord Regent is leading his men. I quite like it. He's using a sniper rifle. Wait, he, he, he's just not really aiming, is he? He's just, ah, take that. With his little leopard print hat on. Very nice. They'll be taking care of this listing first. Now, what we're going to do is that the, the one few small pieces of actual heavy cover that we can use for infiltration, these guys, are going to hide here. And uh, maybe potentially, in the last possible moment, jump out on top of them. So, uh, yeah, there we go. They, they never saw this coming. Out from the rafters. Throwing down that terrible lasagna on the floor. Rail's been broken. But that's okay. Because we can bring the terror as well. Got the Havocs over here that have been, been pestered by something. They should now be able to come over and do some damage to the Infernus. If we can hold the line as long as we can. Got the Sorcerer as well. Who is going to throw a Chains of Torment on someone. Oh, oh, on these guys, but they're dead now. Should have probably saved that for later. Also, Smite wiping out those tightly packed lads over yonder. And here comes the push. The cut and thrust of first combat. We do have the listening post over here throwing down some plasma cannon fire. But we are on auto reinforced. We're also looking for power fists as well. So we can punch the Infernus in the face. And death and sadness for the front lines of the firstborn squads. Sorcerer losing all his friends. And also being slurred by some sort of fire. I'm not sure what fire is slowing him down, but... It was slowed down just a little bit there. Oh, we've got Bubbin. Lahayam Sh Shahai. We're going to call him Shahai because that's coming Welsh over there. And I can't read Welsh. But yeah, that's... Uh, it's, it's, if you didn't watch the uh, video that I did the other day of the quick look, uh, this is the character that I voice, uh, voice acted. So, yeah. Nice one. Also, love that model as well. Very terrifying. Lovely little burn smile on him as well. Warp Talons. Now, I thought, I thought it was interesting that I could attach uh, Shahai into the Warp Talons. I'm thinking, oh, yeah, well, it'll be able to jump as well. But that is not the case. All right, so we're thinking, they fell for it once. Will they fall for it twice? We hide on the inside here. That require a bit of rejigging of the forces. And the Warp Talons, I mean, look at the amount of damage that they do. Compare the 45 and 50, no, oh, sorry, 49 and 59 damage compared to 162 and 198. Very, very expensive, but the reinforcement is 80 and 10. It's extraordinarily expensive. And to recruit them, I think it's about 360 blue and 80 green. I could be wrong. Could be wrong, but we, we had loads of blue money spare. And I wanted to s spend that. Because the amount of times that I've told people off in a cast for not spending their money. And then I go and do that because I'm a terrible player. Because I don't know what I'm doing half the time anyway. In fairness, with its mighty long... Double twin link. Is that a twin link flare map? That is a twin link flare map. More first bonds coming out. My frame rate on this game is it's not doing all that well. Not well at all, but here we go. They're going to come forward. There's no detection on them. There we go. Just jumping straight over. These guys can't jump because they've got them in Shahine in with them. Right in the middle. Slicing and dicing away we go. Also, from toe to toe. With the Lord Regent. Huge explosion on the way from the first bond there. Stand a bear on the back line. With their flag on the gut. Huge explosion. Setting all the raps on fire. I had plenty of time to avoid that, but I just didn't. So, nice. Way to do a lot of damage to most of my army there. Well, back, back, nearly all of my army. Shahai trying to kill this dude, but he's not really doing that much damage. Here's the Puffy Carry after all. And just to help my forces regenerate the health, he's going to stand near them in the hopes that they will not die. He's going to get a good surround on the Infernus, bashing him with our our fists. Attempting to build up a sentry gun, but the Warp Talon squad with their power claws, killing that dude quite quickly. Gas being presented to anyone and everyone around this area. Not a great idea. We've also got plumbing I the... Lord Regent, smack bang in the middle of all these raptors. And he's like, you know what? I'll take you all on. The only thing I'm surrounded by is fear and dead men. And that's just a lot of broken morale for him. I'm also going to bring forth a Imperium Sturm Vicky, whatever you call them. 
You are the, I assume, you are more like... I got a red grenade launcher. And you're quite swift and nimble. Okay, all right. Got a Malkador. But that's okay. Because even though that's like the, the effectively the Lehman Russ of the uh, Vestoyans, we have got some Obliterators on the go. So they'll come in and see what they could do. We're also going to get some more Commander Hero upgrades for the health. But at the moment, we're not entirely sure what we're going to do. We've got the Raptors. And yes, okay. Havocs might have been an idea. Um, might have been an idea actually to get some Havocs a little bit earlier. So when these guys are running around punching people in the face, we've then got the Raptors uh, being supported with constant DPS from the range units. But I wanted to be thematical as humanly possible for the first game. Gosh darn it. I wanted a bunch of Raptors jumping in, clawing people's face off. And we've, we've almost broke through the front lines. It's just that I keep on having these infuriating tanks that won't be killed by punching when a blue squad should be more than enough to cut through the armor of a vehicle or whatever vehicle they, they bring to bear so also has got no friends to join him at the moment and we're gonna try and maybe move somewhere else if there's all of the bunch of guys here then why fight him there dear oh dear that's a huge shot is that a full i think that was like a squad wipe on one of my raptors there uh, we're giving the old switcheroo the thought we're going somewhere else, but no. We're actually going to come right on top of them. Also activating our fury of the unknown, whatever you call that ability. Increase the amount of damage we take, and also increase the amount of damage we give. And it's just shining lights. Badness as a hind gunship comes over. Sorcerer manages to survive, as well as a couple more raptors. We have seen... Kaya, Arabus, the Axe Master, Demon Prince for the Night Lords has been spawned from our captain. And he is looking quite hungry. Let's have a quick gander at his model while we're knocking around. Great, terrifying beast with bat, ear, bat, well, bat wings for ears. As well as having wings of his own. A huge swipe in a large region. Not feeling as confident as he was before. But another tactical deployment that I don't look like I'm going to even try and avoid. Yep, everyone's on fire. Yeah, but then... <laughs> not exactly the most tactical play for me, but you know what? I was probably doing some macro at the time. That's my excuse. I'll leave it to us Tesla Kruger set. We're firing at the Krieg Akrebus. Demon Prince. He is taking a lot of damage already. But he's at least given room for the Obliterators to move forward. Also added Shahai into the Obliterators. Just in case taking the damage, you know, you want to keep them alive a little bit. Not like how a Mad Doc with a Flash Kit Squad works. X-Master continues to cut down things as best he can. Raptors flailing around. Cutting down as many soft targets as humanly possible. James Torment. Going on the Lord Regent. Notice him there. We're thinking, oh, that was the time to take him down. But huge. Good Lord. I hope, you don't have, no, I hope you don't have epilepsy. And if you do, well, too late, I suppose. So I'm going to top out there. We are going to attempt to run away. But we are being slurred, or slurred even, by the uh, Malkador artillery. I think that's what's slowing us down anyway. We're also going to run away. So I think that the... Uh, Shahai, right, so he's got a ability where if he takes, like, melee damage or damage in general, I think you lose control over him, but he does more damage in close combat. He goes a bit mad. But I wonder if that's affecting the obliterators as well. And that's why the standing's still doing not much. That's what I assume. So we're just going to, you know, he's, he's not going to survive this. He can't run away at this point. So he's going to charge in. The Raps will attempt to save him. But same in Private Ryan, just a lot more murdery. We're doing amazing against the infantry. It's just the infernal tanks are causing his issues. But, you know, in hindsight, Havoc's the Blitters, or maybe even a Hell Tunnel or two, actually. Is this the point where I get? Yeah, there. So we got a Forge of Terror. And the idea is. Oh, yes, that's what we're doing over here. We've got a Hell Tunnel to explode things. The hope that that will then drive these guys back over here to play more defensively so we've got some space to 
rebuild our lost people. And you know what? Everyone tried to come in to save Shahai, but he's the last one standing. Now he's attempting to run away. But, nope. He, oh no, it, it might actually survive. He's been blasted away. Oh, it's the Tesla cruiser that slows people down, I think. Well, I mean, that makes sense if you've been shocked. But we don't fancy running too fast yet. Can he escape? That's my question. Uh, question. He's not doing a great job, is he? <laughs> Poor lad. We've got a new Havoc squad coming out. The economy is 115 and 43. Compared to 76 and 22. We've got the economic advantage. So we keep on losing our army. Throwing it away in needless conflict. I just keep on saying to myself, hey, if I just keep on doing the same thing, eventually it will work. Which is not something you should do. Uh, the raptors are clearly not working. I should have stopped doing that a lot um, earlier. But we're here now, and we've got the Halitons coming around the flanks, and they'll be focusing on bashing the economy. That's their plan. Maybe potentially keeping these guys back at the base. It does seem that the Malkador will come forward. Going to get a replacement captain, Havoc squad, as well, going for some auto cannons. Not sure how I feel about this. Too many auto cannons to help kill these guys. Well, the captain, we have upgraded. Well, I have researched a demon prince upgrade. So my idea was to send him over in here and basically make him turn into a demon prince. But that didn't happen. He died before he was able to activate his ability, which is annoying. Very annoying. That's the entire defensive plan was Demon Surprise. But no Demon Surprise for the Vestorians on this day. For the Helltons, they've now killed all the plasma generators and all... Well, actually, there's one more left. Gonna kill that. Although these guys don't mind. They've got killing potential. In fairness, just doing a little lap around the Vault of Fear. Ah, oh, there you go. You can see him. Little, little dude. Little space being just been... I don't know spun around and put in the washing machine here we go we've got Shai S S S oh lord Sahai join the Havocs to keep them fighting fresh and fancy does the Lord Regent go down do we actually kill him no we don't what an absolute hero that dude is avoiding death in all ways uh, Tesla Crusade uh, cruisers have scared away Elton's as they've killed one also it does seem that like the slow works on vehicles as well, which is interesting. The fairness tanks have been the real heroes of this match. They've held that line, and they've burned a fair few Night Lords this day. By Vanus Assassin here as well. She does some stuff. She kills characters, I imagine. She's an assassin. Vanus being slapped a little bit by the captain. The captain on his own. Ain't gonna be doing all that much. Do you want a predator on the way? Hopefully that will keep us in the game. But we've lost our research building. Or our No, what was it called? The equivalent of a sacred artifact. If you are familiar with the space marine factions. Do have that vault of fear, that's what we call it. Be rebuilding that on the back lines. After all, the night lords do benefit from having fair few heroes. The heroes are quite strong. The fairness is just going to burn everything. Put portal, which is your deep striking building. That's where the obliterators come from. Predator, we'll see what he can do, but that's a lot of lads and lasses, as well as lightning coming down from those Tesla guns. We do have a Raptor Scout Squad all have been Shot down before they've even able to do anything. And boys and girls, I'm afraid. You can tell why I don't play very often. Uh, just because <laughs> Lord knows what I was doing for most of that game, but you know, it was, it was what was it? It was form of a function. I just wanted to look cool while stuff was going on. Good lord, that's that's loud lightning. We'll we'll move away from them uh while we just finish off. Yeah, so so thank you so much, uh friends, for uh joining us for that game. Also, this game came from the 10k subscriber. Uh, games like that we had on the Discord, with, uh, which have links in the description uh, below if you want to play some games on the Discord. So yeah, give give me some ideas. What would you guys like to see 
for a 10k uh, subscriber special video and uh I'll, I'll get on to any ideas that sound good so yeah if you want to support channel have a look at the old patreon one pound gets you one extra game a week and there's also a discord where discord things happen links in the description as always as we miss land shark pleasure as always never chop and i'll see you in a bit peace